Welcome to Sunday Money, Zoom edition version, what is this, nine, eight, too many, I promise you that. Uh, Sunday Money is presented by Old Rally Auto Parts, and it's also brought to you by Hercules Tires. Daryl, I'll be honest, kind of over this, kind of over this, like, virtual reality we're all living in nowadays, but, yeah. you know. We got the real thing coming up. I don't know uh, when we can. Get... Go ahead. When are we gonna see each other again? I don't know. I mean, I do kind of like the fact that I can't really. I only. I can't see you uh, for for a long period of time. That's nice. Uh, but could, could, we have... could we do a backyard edition, like a backyard Sunday money, where we all sit six feet apart in somebody's backyard? Put the microphone right in the center and just scream at it. <laughs> I will come in. Like a campfire edition, and you just pass the mic? Yes. Well, we got to disinfect the, the mic every time we pass it, though. Bring the babies. We could do that. We need to We might need to look into that. How are you doing, Lauren? I'm good. That's good. I'm just hanging out. How was your Mother's Day? It was great. It was a good day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just... I guess out, it, ate some is food. It your first, was that your first Mother's Day or no? Yeah, yeah I don't have any other children that I know of. Well, so, I didn't know. That I didn't was know. my that know. was my first one. We didn't celebrate it last year. No, and I want to commend Lauren because out of all my friends, she did not do the obligatory annoying mom post that everybody seems to do. Apparently, everybody in their thirties has just figured out that they're the first people in human history to have a child because they have never known a love like this until <laughs> said child has come into their life. We didn't know what love was until you came here. So thank you for teaching us so much about love. And this is the day that we all cherish our moms, except for people who have divorced families and deceased parents and you know, abusive parents and horrible parents, but everybody else, this is the hey. day that we found hey, love because of this baby that we keep alive by feeding every 17 minutes. Hey, Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl is a Karen. Daryl is a more of a Karen than I am when I'm complaining. Daryl, I yeah. will say. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Since you don't have a kid, you don't know uh, the extra layer of love. Now, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean you should blast it on social media. I get that. But, hey, when, when in Rome, right, it's the day for mothers. Give the mothers, give them a day. Let them have a day. Let them have a social post. They birthed that, chill, they birthed that little football-sized human out of their vagina. Right. They can... They're afforded a social media post. Yeah, don't hate did you. Me. Did you see some post that went a little too far, though? Be honest. Well, every everybody. It seemed this was a little bit more aggressive on social media this year than I have in years past. I felt like with just people uh, posting. I mean, everybody. I mean, it was everybody. Which hey, everybody loves their mom. So I mean, hey, why not put put that on your on your social media because I've got the best mom and I'm sure Lauren's got the best mom and Daryl, I don't know. doesn't seem like your mom loved you enough because you don't really love your mom enough. Beth, give her a social post. Yeah. Daryl. I am going to tell you my favorite post and I will not name the person. However, I will just start in the middle because the other paragraph is enough. Being a mom ain't easy, especially with a spouse who travels a lot. But I will tell you when I hear you in the other room with our little child, tears come to my eyes. I have been humbled and honored by you every day of our lives that we spent together. But more than that, it's the love we share and the trust and incredible love that we have found when you came into our lives. It makes my heart swell with affection. Shut the fuck up. Who is this for? It's guys. It's that does much. sound like a, that does sound like a Father's Day appreciation. Or is this? Or is this? Was this a? Was this a male that posted this? Yes. That, that that's a little bit too much. That's a little bit uh, too much. Every day should be Mother's Day, but since today's the day we choose to celebrate, let me say, you have completed us, little one. I'm talking to you, Poppy. Blah, blah, you blah. Brought... Give me a present. 
That's what I say. Did you get a present from Andrew? Yeah. I got a talk is cheap. Yeah, talk is cheap. No empty cards. Only one card with money. <laughs> Let, me just say, <laughs> Let me just add one more part from my Karen speech. Okay. Do you want to know why it makes me so angry, Lauren? Why? Because I can guarantee you, you can bet your last dollar that on Father's Day, those same bitches aren't going to be on Instagram going, dear dad, you have done so much for this family, like keep the lights on and buy me my Fendi bag. And you got me the little dog that nobody likes. And oh, by the way, I haven't worked in 10 years. Nobody's going to write those posts. On I'll Daddy write a Day. very honest post to Andrew on Father's Day. Oh, I can't, I can't. Tune in to Lauren's Instagram for her. <laughs> I'll start Am thinking. I, Am I right, Corey? Am I right? Hey, no comment on that. Uh -huh. All I know is that moms are awesome. My mom's awesome. Kelly's awesome. Lauren's Where, awesome. Where is Kelly right now? I need to talk to Kelly. And bring in new life into the world. They deserve social media love. Because well, everybody knows if you post it on social media, that means it's really true and you really mean it. Because if you don't post something on social media, then you don't just, you don't care about that person that you didn't post about. That's what, that's the conundrum. Okay. All right. The I'm learning. That I'm thankful for my mom for this year are not social media worthy or they're not like, they're not appropriate because I just go back to whenever I just had a baby and my legs were too weak to sit down on the toilet by myself. And I needed my mom to stand there and help me on and off the toilet. That those are the things that I'm thankful for her for this year. So I figured nobody wanted to read that post on social media. So I just Alexa, kept it to myself, you know. Ooh. Alexa, did you see all these posts? Did you see all these Mother's Day posts? Alexa, somebody with reason weigh in. These two are emotional because they're child with childs. <laughs> I did. I did see a lot of them. And uh I mean you know, if that's what you want to post, that's what you want to post. That's not, I FaceTimed with my mom, but I didn't need to, I'm not on social media much. I don't really post a lot. Well, you should have posted about your mom because I don't know, Alexa, if you love your mom as much as I do, because I post. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah. Dear mom. Um, by the way, Corey. No, Lauren, you missed this because I know you didn't watch the race, did you? I think we did. It's it's not memorable, but I did, I think I watched it. Well, after the race, yeah, I think it was the Sunday. I heard Claire B. Lang did a Mother's Day special, and all the different drivers' wives got to call in, and they did a little mommy interview with Claire B. Lang. And if my Mother's Day cup wasn't overfloweth yet, let me <laughs> tell you, listening to rich NASCAR wives talk about what it's like to be in the bus while their husbands make money is something, something for the ages. And I will say Kelly LaJoy did an interview and she was the least obnoxious, Corey. I will give your wife that. She, she did a good job, but some of these wives have been living in a snow globe since late teens when most of these drivers found them. It was, it was hard to listen to, Corey. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I just... I love my wife. We don't live. I, I mean, I, we, Daryl, we all proverbially live in a snow globe living in the United States of America. If you wanted some perspective, right? There are people with some nicer snow globes and what maybe even mine or maybe even yours look like, right? There's a snow globe that could be on Lake Norman or there's a snow globe that can be in an apartment somewhere. But overall, generally speaking, we have a pretty nice snow globe we live in as Americans. So be grateful. Fair. So true. Just do, Lauren, Thank since you, you did, <laughs> Lauren, since you didn't get to hear it, do me a favor. Just ask me where I was when I found out the season was postponed, and I will give you a quick impression of every single wife because it's amazing. <laughs> Just ask me where were you when you found out the season was going to be on hold? Where, be no. where were you? What were you doing? Well, so we were getting packed up and getting ready to go to the race. And we were told that we couldn't go on the team plane. And then I have this idea. I said, we could just drive. It's only four hours to Atlanta. And so you know what we did? 
we took action. We went to the Whole Foods and we packed up all our supplies ourselves. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, he, even though he had to race, he said, I will drive us to four hours. And you know what we did? We went as a family. And, but then when we got down there, we realized, let's just keep going to Florida because my parents have a place down there. So we went down to Florida and luckily we were able to spend time because I figured the kids could be outside down in Florida. Uh, you know, not, don't worry about all the people losing their jobs. The kids would have a place to play and it would be nice. And the grass is cut short because they have a really great landscaping company that does the whole village. Anyhow, we stayed down in Florida with my parents for a while and he's been really great. I don't even think he misses racing. And I'm gonna be honest, I think he loves being home with us and we sure do love having him home too. But he's gotta go to work. So I guess we're ready to go back. I don't know who you were talking about, nor do I care to know. That was pretty funny. That was great, Daryl. And, and talk about hey, all of them. All of them sound like that. Hey, but hey, a lot of them do have houses in Florida because if you, you can, technically you can claim residency there because you're gone more than half the year and there's yeah. no income. So there's a little loophole. Um, but that's not, I mean, that's general knowledge. But um, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Um, you were going to say this is the same reason you guys don't have a lot of drivers over for dinner because Kelly can't stand their wives. Be honest. It's okay. Um, that, that's probably, that's probably a little bit true. Um, you know, and it's hard to have, it's, it really is hard to have, uh, friendships with like close friendships with drivers just because at the end of the day, it's hard to separate that competition from reality because you literally want to kill each other every Sunday afternoon. And then you, it's hard to shut the switch off and go break bread with somebody that you haven't had a relationship really before competition, right? I have a good relationship with Bubba. I have a good relationship with Joey. I have a good relationship with, that's about it. Because I had a relationship with those guys prior to racing with them. Right. And, but even then it's hard for Joey and I, I mean, we like, we, 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 hang out quite a bit but it's still hard to to start a friendship that's i guess that's rooted in competition you know it's just it's it's hard but um it is I, but also Corey, isn't it hard like with other drivers that are very very wealthy and you're in your situation you're doing fine but you don't have a three million dollar bus to go wait in right now before the race takes place and you don't have somebody making sure that the plane gets you there in time let me let me let me correct you daryl there's no motorhomes that cost three million bucks. There's motorhomes that cost two point two million bucks. Not quite three. That's a little bit exaggerated. So tell us more like this. Is um, that hard for you though, having other friends that are, you know, there's levels. Well, here's the thing, right? If 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 there's eight people in a group that smoke and you're the you're one of the people in the group and you don't smoke, odds are you're gonna smoke, right? If if there are eight people with houses on the lake in your friend group and you don't have a house on the lake. Odds are you're going to be building a five and a half million dollar house on the lake. And then you lose your job and you have to put it on the market for sale. That's what, you know, that's what happens. So I think that you have to, is this house for sale? Both of them. <laughs> Breaking news. I did not hear that. Well, you know, he, I think he just put them up there on the market just to, I don't think he really necessarily has to get rid of it, but I'm sure not, not finish. Probably a good idea. Probably not a bad, probably not a bad idea to uh, live in something a little more modest with, uh, I'm assuming he's not going to be having the income the rest of the year he was expecting. But, um, you know, I, I just think that you, it's all about perspective, right? Like I can go, I can literally go to Joey's shop. And he has nine side by sides, 500 cars, every toy you could possibly have. And then we can go rip around all day. And when I leave, I'm like, oh man, I need a side by side, or I need a four wheeler, or I need something else. What is a side by side? It's those like the four wheelers, but with the steering wheel with the cage over it, two seaters. Huh. And side I, by like, side. I see every you need one, Corey. I do. I do need one, but they're 20 grand. I don't, I don't really want it. I don't have anywhere to keep it, but you know, like I see what he has and it's easy to want that because it's cool. Right. But, um, you realize real quick that a lot of that stuff, you don't, is not essential. And I'm just, you know, I don't need a $2 million bus when I get to the point. If I 
signed a decent deal over the off season this year. I, I probably will have to get one with because it's pretty much impossible to bring him to the racetrack if you don't have a bus. Um, so you know, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bus, even though it's still expensive compared to all the other ones in the lot, is pretty modest. But that's all you need, right? But I, it's easy for me to say because I don't have millions of dollars flowing into my account. Uh, like those guys do. I'm sure my perspective will probably change a little bit more, but uh, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you should hate on those guys because they do have nice things But when, you know, it, they are, it's easy to lose perspective and, and not be realistic with just knowing how, how all this stuff is affecting a lot of people. There's, and there's millions of people without jobs right now, not making any money. And we're, we, we all collectively mm. are still pretty lucky. I'm just telling you, I appreciate you being grounded. It makes being friends with you a lot easier. Well, hey, thanks. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It was a compliment. I, I'm just kidding. Sorry to any wives that listen to this show. They don't listen to this show. But if they no. did, I apologize. But it was just, it was a lot to listen to. And it just made me laugh because uh, then, then all of a sudden, I'm right about to turn it off. I, I reach to turn it off and I go, and next up, Kelly LaJoy. And I'm like, oh, I got to listen. And she was great. That was great. She sung your praises. She said you're a good dad, and you guys are taking shifts. And um, all your talking points were on. You guys were you very in sync. And uh, no, yeah, you, you did a great job. I was real proud of you. And by the way, Corey, you know it's okay. You you're doing okay right now. And by the way, you have more money in your pocket. Word on the internet is you've sold your sim rig. I have. So that gets us on the topic of one last weekend of iRacing was last week. There is, I mean, I'll, hey, I'll be honest. People listen. They know where I stand on, on virtual video games. After that race at North Wilkesboro, which in itself was really cool to race at a track that, you know, you grew up watching an old film of or whatever, to be in the first race on iRacing, even though it sounds corny, was kind of nostalgic and cool. Um, and after it, it was bittersweet because more so sweet, but a little bit of bitter, but more so sweet, like a Sour Patch Kid, that it was over. Because now the realization of where extra life was set in. So I'll just go ahead and recap. My last, my first, actually, this was my, my third and final for my life, I race in North Wilkesboro. I, Practice for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Call it maybe an hour and forty-five minutes. We'll call it that, right? Mm -hmm. And I was about a fifth to eighth place guy. Started figuring it out. Started figuring it out. Qualified seventh, inverted starting fourth. Um, got spun out by Parker Kligerman. Thanks, Parker. I crowded him a little bit, but he he didn't give me any slack. Spun me out. Went to the back. Drove back to about 11th, got spun out by Austin Dillon. Went to the back, drove back to about 9th. And then we were going to we, we figure it out, the matrix. You know, you know what that do is? We, do we not have to listen to this part? Are yeah. we allowed to leave? Lauren no. left. No. We we were, go ahead. You our, just talked to Alexa. Our pit strategy, okay. we had him get your ass back here. Sit down. <laughs> Go ahead, your pit strategy. This is all really riveting. So a, Lauren, I left I left too, Lauren. Don't worry. I'm back. I dropped my baby on her head, so I had to go take it. You have an excuse. You don't. You, you sit here and listen to the video sit game. Sit here and suffer. Helmet <laughs> on her. What's she doing over there? Hey. hey. Okay, back to your I'm pit. sorry. He was telling us about a pit stop or something. I guess hey, there's... Caution, 18 to go. I come in in ninth. Okay. Mm. We figured out that if we saved our reset to the last pit stop, we came in and did our quick reset that only took two seconds while everybody else was doing a normal pit stop. So we came out of the pits second. And we were we had four tires, brand new car. We were in prime position to win that race. Sure enough, when I go to push the brake pedal, the little rod that holds all the rubber pieces that has a little pressure sensor on it, it broke off and all the rubber just fell off of it. And it was just a dead stick. So I had to retire the race for parts malfunction. 
And that was the end of my iRacing career. And then guy Adam Eaton from the Washington Nationals plays outfield. He he hit me up on Instagram. Yo, man, that rig's still for sale. I say, yup. Why did he want that rig? He's a baseball player. But he wants to be a race car driver. Don't we all? Don't we Don't all? Don't we all? And, and all you have to do to be a race car driver is download the account. Ask Denny Hamlin. He'll, get, he'll send you the link for you. So, Did you see Denny Hamlin on ESPN? He got ESPN coverage, Corey. You could have been on. He's like a regular. He's like a regular visitor there. I don't know. I don't know. Why, but hey, whatever. He, I mean, he won. He won them races, man. He's I racing champion. Actually, Timmy Hill is the I racing champion to be exact for counting points. But yeah, I'm glad that I'm honestly. It was cool while it lasted. My my stance on it softened a bit just because. It was cool that I race and went and scanned North Wilkesboro. We ran North Wilkesboro as the final race. Um, and it was cool to get our sponsors on TV each and every Sunday or each and every weekend. Mm-hmm. After I got the invite, because I didn't get the invite for like the first three weeks. But who's counting? Um, and I'm glad now we have moved on back to real life racing. Lauren, I told him there's going to be a second wave and we're going to have to go back I racing. <laughs> He's not going to have a rig. No. I have to pull out your Xbox controller. And I can do that. I'll plug that right into the USB port. And, and yeah, that'll work. You did that. not send Denny Hamlin a tweet to congratulate him on his victory in the video world. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> he he does enough. He does enough uh, stuff. People people can congratulate him for me. All right. Well, uh, listen. Yeah, now he that just, he started, he started. I don't know, eighth or tenth. He qualified uh, third or something and got wrecked and passed some cars and won a race. I got to be honest with you. Uh, I did not watch the race. I'm sorry I missed it. I was busy. But also, I uh, a lot of stuff has been happening outside of racing this week, so I'm a little behind, and I was hoping you could tell us exactly what is going on. I heard rumblings about uh, Sonoma and Chicago, and I know you're going racing this weekend. I just like, where are we right now? Where is the world of NASCAR? Because Chrissy Teigen had a celebrity fight, it derailed my week. I followed that, and I don't know where, well, like, what's going on in NASCAR? Tell me where we are, are as of uh, right now, today, Tuesday. Thanks for keeping up. Um, so they announced that uh, Sonoma, Chicago, I think Richmond, was it Richmond, the other? Uh, track that lost their first dates. Sonoma and Chicago only have one date, so they both are done. What? It's over? It's over. Uh, we're not so, going to Sonoma this year or Chicago, and it doesn't look like we're going to be going to Chicago ever again. Uh, they're going to turn that into an industrial park. I think that right now they're wording it like, well, you're going to turn it into an industrial park. We're going to try to go back racing. Doesn't look good for Chicago Land Speedway. They laid off the entire staff, everybody. There's nobody working at Chicago Land Speedway. Oh! Yeah, that's what I think too. Bob. How do you feel about that? I love that racetrack. I like. I won my first ARCA race there at uh, at Chicago. So I've always liked that track. You can run the top pretty well. It's bumpy and fun. But you know, I I would love to see something unique in that slot. In that slot, whether it be a short track. Now, I've heard rumblings that they're talking about a uh, street course in Chicago. That would be badass. Uh, That way you can keep that market engaged. Um, So I would not be be upset losing a a one-and-a-half-mile racetrack for a cool new street course. That would be cool. So that's gone, Sonoma? No no Sonoma? Sonoma, Sonoma's gone this year. Obviously, it's cool. Road course, so that'll be back on the schedule next year. But I personally am happy about that because I suck at road courses. Uh, I need to do better. I need to get. I'm uh, um, and then Richmond, I like Richmond, but they lost their first date, which we're gonna go back there in the fall, which isn't a. And then we're gonna be racing jam packed for the next thirty days. I think there's eight races in in a month, so. Um, I think we're going to see, see some crazy craziness. I wonder how what? many people are tuning in on Sunday. What do you think, Daryl? Two million. Way more than that. You think so? 
There was almost 2 million people watching video games. Are you going to be throwing footballs on this particular broadcast to get your name out there? This is a big opportunity for you. There was a fight once on national television that put NASCAR on the main stage forever. This is your moment, Corey. This is your Eminem eight mile moment. You have to own it. What are you gonna do as a publicity stunt? I would love to I would love to throw footballs. Problem is there's nobody in the stands to throw it back. I'll go. I will be in the stands illegally to catch one pass from you. And they'll go, Hey, there's a fan up there. <laughs> What's he doing? It's no fans here today. <laughs> then you need to get tackled and arrested. Yeah, and your name will be a household name. Thank you very much. And yeah, and you you just wear the Sunday money shirt and and your hat. You can be on CNN as a. I don't know. I don't know what I could do to stand out. Obviously, winning the race would be would be huge, but um, the the odds of that happening, I'm probably better off. I'm probably more apt to get struck by lightning. Um, I think you should vlog from your car because for people that don't know. The drivers are being told that they have to go wait in the bus. So either the motor coaches are going to be parked if you have one. The motor coach driver has to leave. Yeah. Right? Or if you don't have a motor coach, you have to bring your own car, like Corey. You have to pack your own lunch. Corey has to bring his own car and wait in his car for how long? They want you there four hours before the race. So uh, four hours? Nine o'clock, get, get to the track, which I plan on rolling in about. 12.45. I'm just kidding. I'll probably get there like, I don't know, 12.30. I lost you guys. Where are you? I'm right here. There you are. Um, ever, Corey, you should you vlog. That? You should do a vlog like uh, every do, like 10-minute update from I'm your do, car. I'm going to do an Instagram live when I pull into the track to show you kind of the, the situation. See what's Let's going do on. Sunday money from your car. We're not allowed in, Daryl. Oh, no. we can go to the parking lot. You don't think there's going to be fans at the parking lot trying to find these drivers who are sitting there for four hours? People, I think there will be people tailgating. No, nah, they won't let anybody inside the track, but they'll be. I think there'll be some people tailgating oh. outside. Uh, I will come and stand six feet away from you, and we can do a live edition from maybe, Darlington. Maybe I'll bring that grill, and I'll just start grilling some burgers for everybody in the back of my truck. Yeah. Well, wait. I like this idea, Corey. You gotta, you gotta. Let's just tailgate for our own race. That's a never quarantine been. cookout with Corey yeah. LaJoy. On our Traeger, just making burgers and weenies for the whole field. I like this idea. So this is four hours of you just sitting in your car doing something, and then what? They give you a text message, and you get up and you go put your suit on, or your suit is on already. I don't know. I haven't got any of those update emails yet, but. Yeah, where do you get um, dressed? I I could just pull a Brad Kozlowski. Have I ever told you that story on Brad Kozlowski and his Tesla? No. no. I never said that on the show. Oh, it's, it's great. So it was last year um, for the 600. Actually, the, the next week, whatever the weekend is, or next weekend for the 600 last year. I drove, I was driving from my house, 77, jumped on 485, and I was headed towards the track. And this was about an hour and a half, maybe two hours before practice starts. And this black Tesla, carbon fiber wrap on it, it's Brad Keselowski's Tesla pulls up next to me, kind of passing me. So I speed up and get up next to him. I look over and he is in his full fire suit, shoes on, helmet sitting next to him, gloves on like he's ready to get in the car, like he's driving his Tesla. With a fire suit, which I don't know why you need a fire suit to test on anyways. It's got batteries, but that's different. That's a different point. But he literally was driving to the track two hours before practice in his fire suit. It's like he woke up that morning. You know what? Today I'm wearing my race car driving clothes. Like when you do when you're three years old, like Frankenstein. Hey, maybe he's got to figure it out. Maybe I'm the one that's messed up wearing my normal clothes. Then I have to change when I get to the track. All he, he just put on a pair of clothes all day. He's got to figure it out. Mindset. He's ready for work, Corey. You need to leave the house ready for work. I might do that for Darlington, just leaving my fire suit. Darlington my... is a famous track for you guys. Yeah. Do you want to know my advice for you? Yes. 
you and Joey Logano, since there's no fans in the stands, should have a race up the stairs and down to recreate your Darlington story with no fans there. It's the perfect publicity stunt. Yeah. So, Darlington, do it, do it. Dar- I want to feel the asphalt, touch it. That That is a great idea, Daryl, but they must have heard my story because Darlington, they put like aluminum scaffolding uh, stairs over those stairs, so we couldn't actually race down those seashell, treacherous Darlington stairs anymore. I think that they probably, maybe Darlington's insurance company listens to our podcast and they heard the story of when we raced down and Joey about killed himself. Uh, so unfortunately, we can't race down those stairs. We might could race down other stairs, but I don't know if Joey would sign up for that because he's competitive enough to where he would, he would dick it again just to beat me in a stair race. Wait. Joey's been doing a great job on social media. He's been making funny videos. He's been doing posts. He's been he's been topical, doing like some basketball stuff during the last dance. Joey, if you're listening, you've been doing a great job on social media. Your team is on it. Some other drivers absent. I don't know where they are. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know what's happening. They're probably learning how to be dads for the first time. It's a, But they're not on social media, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, Joey for sure has seized the opportunity to – to get some content out there with his vlogs and uh, he's got some good stuff. He's got a good team around him with his clutch guys. Um, so they make some pretty good stuff, but yeah, I, they've uh, a lot of guys. I feel like I've missed the boat, probably myself included with a lack of content, but it's hard to do it when you're constantly in arm reach of a seven week old, but well, we'll take a commercial break and come back and we'll wrap it up so you can get to your doctor's appointment today, Corey. Yeah, we got 18 minutes before I got to get a little man on a Zoom call. All right, let's take a quick doc, uh, quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back with Sunday Money. Corey has a doctor's Zoom appointment that we're trying to rush ourselves to. What happens on a baby Zoom appointment? You just look at the doctor, and they, they look at your baby and go, all right, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, ways and just checking in on him, I guess. Well, how are they going to see how much he weighs? Up, well, it's update on his pecker and since he got cut and circumcised. So that this should look it looks good. Um, Have you been peed on since our last episode? Not since, no. We've been uh, putting a wet wipe over it, so it usually, it usually covers it up pretty good. Hmm. More race and talk, even though I know you hate it, Daryl. No, I'm um, into it. I heard they're going to extend the field. Yeah, you just heard that during our commercial break because I know you wouldn't know that. Sort of information. Uh, they're going to expand the Xfinity and truck fields to 40, which I think is a big deal um, because since they won't get the chance to qualify in, people that want the opportunity to race, NASCAR's added, uh, what's that, three spots to – three spots or four spots to uh, Xfinity and uh, eight spots to trucks, which mm-hmm. – that's cool. They're ponying a little bit more money up too, obviously, to pay for those guys to uh, to be an added entry more so than what they were already planning on. So kudos to NASCAR for adding some cars. Um, uh, I don't really know. I don't want to get in too depth on, you know, who qualifies for the 40 and who doesn't. But uh, that should give everybody who wants to race, who have been sitting around for two months, sitting on their stuff, an opportunity to race. Um, look at my hair. I'm digging the hair, bro. Crazy. I look like I got a mohawk. I just, I'm, dude, I'm just shovel. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. Did you see the? Uh, did you see NASCAR put the uh, uh, fine in for people who don't wear masks or don't uh, play ball according to how you're supposed to play ball? A ten thousand to fifty thousand dollar fine could be uh, in order. So but also, if you were to wear a Schluter mask, they have to have approval on your Schluter face mask. Is that true? Did I read that right? Yeah, they want to approve face mask des- designs, which I think that's a bit petty. But I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, I actually had a dry dean T-shirt cut up, and I was going to wear like a mask, like it's a long one. Yeah, I always still wear that one, anyways. Because what I mean, what like what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say, man? Um, they could just find me ten grand, which I wouldn't pay. But I don't know what would happen then. 
But just don't do, do it. You, you don't get you don't get fined. Yeah. So how how careful are you? Because you are like the king of disclosure. Are you going to be wearing a mask from your car to your car? Are you, yeah, you going to be like, you know, covered up? Be inside the track without a mask on. Um, I'm not going to sit in my truck like a loser with a face mask on. There's nobody else in my truck. But when I get out of my truck. <laughs> like a loser. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they expect you to wear the mask to your car, in your car, take the mask off, put your helmet on. And when you get out of the car after the race, whether or not you're getting interviewed, if you're getting interviewed, uh, you're supposed to have a mask on. No, you have to have a mask on. I should I should reword that. Uh, and I guess they're going to do boom mics for um, interviews. I've heard that. Um, only one pit road reporter in Regan Smith. So he's going to be busy. He's going to be wore out after that race. Holy cow. Uh, just running back and forth trying to find the latest stories. But, yeah, when you get out of the car, sweaty, hot, bothered, you got to put your – face mask back on and then you get in your truck and you drive home i'm assuming yeah. that's how it goes and i heard ryan blaney's gonna be wearing a darth vader helmet that's like his mask which one are you gonna pick i'll be honest i don't want to i don't want to give i don't want to give i'm gonna give it away right now because i haven't got it yet but i ordered it on amazon it should be here like i don't know june 7th or something i ordered a bane mask from batman the one that goes over your your head so I will, I will look like Bane. I might even get the fur jacket to go with it. We'll see when Charlotte rolls around. The mask I'll be rocking. 50 years from now, Corey, when people look back at the coronavirus year and the first sport to come back, there will be photos of our athletes with masks on right before they go racing. It's This is going to be famous photos. So, I mean, I really think you should either do a hot pink. You need something to stand out, man, because you're going to be in the history books. Yeah. I do need something. Maybe I'll just take a Sharpie and write something on it. Stay like, home. <laughs> stay at home. Stay at home is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, you're, you're going to be fine. It's going to, I mean, but here's the thing. There's going to be no photographers at the racetrack to take pictures. So w maybe I guess. What? Somebody will be, right? I don't think so. Maybe, I mean, I'll assume somebody's going to be there. To take I don't is know. Kelly nervous about you going or is she just like, go to work? It's fine. Are you nervous? As long as he wears a mask. As long as I wear a mask. You don't even gonna... have one, do you? I got I got several masks. Like I said, I got a Dryden t-shirt that my guy at the shop sewed me. I wear it over here. I look cool. I look like a bandito. Did NASCAR prove it? I haven't sent it in for <laughs> Um And here's the thing, Corey. There's no way they're going to say uh, two minutes before the race, that mask is not approved. You can't come in. Right. It's your moment. I'll, I'll have like a, I'll have one of those N95 ones in my pocket, but my triple layer cloth t-shirt will do the job. Sunday money. I do need some Sunday money face mask, but I just hope <laughs> all this stuff goes away by the time I would order Sunday money masks and get them in. So that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, we all right, well, you, big money all this time if we would have been selling those things. It's a lost opportunity. Let's pick our clutch performer of the week so you can go to your doctor. Who is the clutch performer of the week? Lauren. There's nobody performing. <laughs> well, you have to pick a performer. Somebody that impressed this? you this week. How about this? You're going to be shocked. I'm going to pick iRacing as the clutch performer of the week because they went and they scanned North Wilkesboro, recreated it from 1987, and looked awesome. It was fun to race. So there you have everybody. There you have it. iRacing is the clutch coffee performer of the week. Hell done. Froze over. Yeah, that was good. Well, I mean, hey, hey. They deserve it. As like, there's like four guys over there that were working hard, and what they did was pretty impressive with wrangling all of us NASCAR teams and drivers and allowing us to put our sponsors on TV. And they didn't get no money. Huh? I said, yeah, they didn't get no money. No money. Yeah, none. Yeah, there was 
Not a dollar the past hands. Not a dollar. Not a dollar. Just well, good companies working together for the greater. Everybody pulling the rope the same direction. Nobody's worried about money. Oh, boy. Well, we're really excited to watch you race. I will be tuning in. Lauren, you're going to watch this one, right? Yeah, I'll probably watch this one. Yeah. Uh, Corey, yeah. Are, you, are you late for your appointment? We're probably using your computer, right? Uh, I am using the computer, yes. Um, but I, we're, we're, we're okay. We're good on time. Well, is there anything else you wanted to cover? I mean, I think we got everything. Uh, oh, Eric Jones got some guitars that he showed off on social media. That was exciting. So if you're an Eric Jones fan, head over there, kids, and you can see his guitars that he almost knows how to play. And uh, let's see, anything else we missed? Nope. I think nope. that's about it in the world of NASCAR. But this that's week, we it. go back yeah. racing. Yeah, I mean, but now we got, we'll have some real stuff to talk about this week. That's what I'm excited about. Yes, this is going to be good. Uh, and hopefully you are hydrating. When do you start hydrating? Do you start doing that Thursday? I'll, I'll probably start. What's today? Tuesday? I'll probably start. I'll probably, honestly, I'll start drinking some Pedialyte here this week because um, I would rather be over, over hydrated than under hydrated because it's not so much about the first one. It's about the next one three days later and the next one four days later after that and then three days later. So it's going to be hard to get those. It's going to be hard to get your body hydrated throughout the whole all this next two weeks for sure i can't believe we're back guys it's so exciting lauren this is going to be it and now also in north carolina i wanted to ask since we have all of you here they're starting to loosen restrictions when do when are we gonna be back you think or are we just gonna keep this this going it looks like people are starting to go back to work in groups smaller groups are we going back at all alexa have you heard anything uh, I have not heard anything about people being back in the office probably until June-ish. So, yeah. So we will be updating that. But as of right now, we will still be doing the Zooms. All right. Well, I guess we have our final read. And hopefully you guys will be tuning in yeah, next week. Nail that O'Reilly's read while I'm, while I'm gone because, uh, you know, that's – we got to support the people who support us. Okay, Corey, you go ahead and go. We got this. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Uh, it is O Rewards Bonus Points Month. It's O Rewards Bonus Points Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Stop in today for store-wide savings, plus earn double, <clears throat> excuse me, plus earn double O Rewards Points on all sale items like wiper blades, motor oil, tools, accessories, and more. Not an O Rewards member yet? Well, you can sign up online or in store to take advantage of bonus points month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's fast, easy, and free, but hurry. Double points are only available for a limited time. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Did we have to, Bye. did we remember to do the clutch performer of the week read? No. Let's do it. You can, you're going to have to do some Houdini here, okay? Lauren, do you have that one? Yeah, definitely. Hold on, let me pull it up on my phone. And Alexa, you can just put it in on later, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, how exciting. Thanks, iRacing, for being the Clutch Performer of the Week. The Clutch Performer of the Week is brought to you by Clutch Coffee Bar in Mooresville, North Carolina. You can order Clutch Coffee Beans online and have them shipped directly to you. Go to clutchcoffeebar.com and get some beans. That was amazing. Thank oh, wait. You. Nobody sent us any mattresses yet. Yeah, I know. That's oh, bullshit. yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, rude. Uh, all right. Well, that is Sunday Money. Hopefully, you guys will be tuning in. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about starting after Darlington. But thank you for listening to Sunday Money. <laughs>